Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Material Sciences. Uh, for this video, what I'm going to do is give just a basic rundown of residual stresses. Residual stresses, the way they can really be defined is a stress that remains inside of a material after an external load is removed. So this normally happens during some kind of contraction. A great example is a weld. Within a weld, when you're looking at a piece of material, imagine you have a piece of metal welded in a T-shape. When you have the weld, you heat the material and the material expands. The metal expands as it gets hotter. But as the weld cools, it starts con to contract. So within the weld, you start to have these contractive forces. That I just drew two arrows facing this direction and this direction. Contractive forces, squeezing the weld down this direction. This, these contractive forces can curve this this main T to one side or the other when you're welding it. So it's some, residual stresses are something that really have to be, you have to be aware of when you're designing something or when you are actually constructing something. Another example of when residual stresses are used in order to eliminate crack growth is in something called a shot peening. Peening. In this case, basically what you have is a piece of metal and you take little beads or almost ball bearings and you shoot them at the metal. And what happens within this is you have the piece, you've got the bead, it makes contact, and then it compresses into the material, it goes into the material. And what this does is it creates a plastic deformation, creates some stress inside there just like this. And then when the ball leaves and moves, you have, I'm gonna move down here a little farther, when the ball is gone, you have a depression left in the top of the metal. And within this depression, there's kind of a boundary layer almost, where the material is still almost elastic, is trying to, or is trying to press it, stay apart. It's been contracted into plastic deformation, so that it's being held there. But then the rest of the material that hasn't been plastically deformed is pressing in on this depression. And the shape of this bowl-shaped bit inside of that metal is contracting almost like an arch inside of the metal. So you press into the metal, and then when you remove it, you still have this depression and this little boundary layer of the def deformation, which has created a new, almost an arch within the metal that the rest of the metal presses in on. And what this does is this can prevent cracks from forming because a crack only forms on a bend when you stretch something so far that it, its crystalline structure cracks. But when you set up this point of stress, this residual stress inside the material, you are compressing this arch. So if you create tons and tons of these all along the surface by shooting tons of balls at it, then you create millions of these little arches in the top of the material, and the rest of the material compresses it together so that cracks can't form in this, or if they do, it takes a huge amount of bending on the tip of the material. So this is what shot peening does, and this is how sh um, residual stresses can be used to stop cracks. 